Welcome there, everybody. Uh, you have entered Ludomania. My name is Mike, and I feel bad that that last video went on for 43 minutes because I want to try and keep my videos down to half an hour if possible, and for longer games, I just, you know, take breaks and split them up appropriately. But I'm still figuring out how to do this, and, uh... <laughs> I'm, I'm just going to claim a green thumb for any and every mistake ever from here on out. But I can only do that for so long until I'm like 100 videos down the line. If I still don't get it, I should probably give up by then. But uh, let's not be a doomsayer. Uh, for now, I'm going to tackle a sports game, which is generally not my forte. But this is one I've grown up on and have liked for quite a while. It's Double Dribble by Konami. Konami, of course, who made quite a few great games for the NES in the 80s and uh, 90s. Um, and it is a basketball game, as you can tell from all the dudes slamming all the thingies, uh, the balls into the nets. Uh, I'm certainly not up in my sports terminology, but I can at least tell you that balls and nets are a thing, so... Or hoops, if you will. I don't know what the more proper term is. Anyway, this is actually an arcade translation to the NES. And I remember that the original arcade version had a really terrible digitized voice uh, singing uh, the national anthem. But, uh, it's a pretty nice little intro there. So, this game will be deliberately kept short. I won't have as much to show off. We'll go up to a 10-minute game in this case. I'm wondering what I should set the CPU at. Um... <laughs> do I want to do I want to show myself as being a complete newbie, or do I actually want to take on a larger palette here? Anyway, there are four teams. Uh, I believe it's the New York Eagles. Uh, the Chicago Bulls, or Oxes, as the case may warrant, and the L.A. Breakers, the Los Angels, if you will, because uh, you don't want to go for copyright, and the computer is already automatically attuned to being the Boston Frogs. So far as I know, the only way you can actually change them as being your opponents is to go into two-player mode, and then have them pick someone else. So it's a little bit of an ass-backwards system, but what can you do? Um, alright. Bold Risk. I'm gonna actually set it up to level 2. No, not 3. I don't feel that confident. I think I can manage it at 2, but uh, I don't guarantee victory, so if this turns out a giant bust, then uh, I apologize in advance. Alright, we're going to be the Oxes. And, already they scored a point. That's not good. Anyway. So... I'm really not up in my sports terminology, but I know basketball involves passing and dribbling the ball in question. Passing it to other teammates, is stealing the ball when appropriate, passing it back, shooting it into the hoop, got stolen, got stolen back, and in we go. Alright. So we're playing against semi-aggressive CPU, and, hey, we got the ball back for a dunk! A back dunk, there we go, excellent. We have a two-point lead on them. Here they are, goes passing... Oh! Stole it right under their noses. In for a dunk. And boom. Okay, four points left. Good, good, good. So, this is quite a fun game for how simple it is and how fast it moves. And I missed. Hit the rebound. Boom. Alright, we're off to a pretty promising start here. And we just keep stealing the balls right out of them. Like, stealing's really simple. All you just have to do is press A next to the player who has the ball. So, if you're near someone else, you do not want to hold it for too long. You'll want to throw it as soon as possible. Oh, I almost threw back, though. Uh, there is a rule, though, that if you pass the halfway line in the court, but pass it back to somebody on the other side, that's some sort of penalty. I forget what penalty exactly, I want to say that's some variety of traveling. No? Uh... Well, I'm pretty sure the computer's not going to demonstrate it for me, but I'll only demonstrate that when I have a big lead. For now, I don't feel confident yet, they could steal it away from me at any time. 
And yes, that dunk missed. That is probably the most annoying thing about this game. Just because it's a dunk doesn't mean it's going to go in. Sometimes it doesn't fully go through the hoop and you hear a buzz, so... I guess it indicates that you're slamming the blackboard, but uh, nothing comes of it. Oh, we whiffed it. Alright. I should denote, though, that this game is most likely best played uh, with a second player, but... So far, I'm a lone wolf, so... Uh, no need to pity me, it's uh, just usually how I handle things. But, uh, shoot. But yeah, I'm going entirely against the computer opponents here. And, uh, they're providing a fair challenge, but I now double them in points. And, oh, quick recovery! Boom! Right again for another, for another twofer. Alright, playing some good, uh... Hoop Mojo. Oh, whiff! In our favor. There we go. Boom. Now, of course, you don't want to travel outside of the court. Um, ho-ho! Oh. Wow, I'm just making a killing here. Maybe I should have bumped it up to level 3 after all. And there we go again, and... Oops! Starting to get a little greedy there. Cocky or greedy? I guess cocky. Oh, but hey, there we go, we got the points. Oh, you did not throw it fast enough, I'm sorry, my friend. And now we triple them. So I guess I can demonstrate that foul. Except they just scored a point, so now I don't triple them, but eh, I can still show it off. So do not pass back to someone on the other side. It's the back pass foul, where possession automatically goes over to the other team if that happens. Another foul is traveling where if you jump with the ball, you better be darn sure that you shoot with it. If you jump without shooting, that's considered traveling, and control immediately goes over to the other team. Also, if you hold on to the ball for too long without passing, that's another foul. I forget what the time limit is, I think it's 10 or 20, but you want to always be passing among your team. Miss Dunk. Give it a hit. There are three different animations for dunkings you may have noticed. The standard two-hander, the back slam, and the one-hand. I am not sure if there's any way to enter the hoop that determines which one you get, but it's pretty cool they keep it varied like that. Alright, in for the frogs. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the Chicago Oxes, because the Bulls uh, are the actual ones, the ones with Michael Jordan. Uh, my sports knowledge is incredibly poor. Um, the sport I know, the team sport I know the most about, relatively speaking, is baseball. And, uh, you know, he even then, uh, I couldn't tell you what a ground rule double is, um, so... I think it's like you get an automatic double if the ball lands somewhere or something or other. Um... Wow, we were just completely obliterating the competition here. Huh. Oh, miss! I did not block it. It's pretty hard to block shots while jumping, but, uh, you know, I do it anyway, because what else can you do at that point? They got a point there. I got two points, rather. Now, the only thing in basketball for which you can get a single point is a free throw. And they do have those in this game. But, uh... It only happens if somebody gets knocked down, and so far, that happening, as far as I can tell, is a crapshoot. So I don't know how to deliberately push someone down, or get pushed, to invoke it. But I'm not going to get close enough to them to, um, invoke it, because I am on a real hot streak here! And we're getting near the end of the first period, let's see if we can deny them this last point. <gasps> Miss! All right, 48 to 22. Things are rolling really smoothly. Out of bounds. What? No, that, I, th I think that was a glitch. Oops. Fail. Intercepted. Back and back. You don't have to know too terribly much about basketball, though, to understand double dribble. It keeps things really simple, and it's all the better for it. Like, the only sports games I can play are those from, like, the 80s, because <laughs> before they add all the actual rules of sports to them, you know, they're just re the really simple, basic premises and concepts of each sport distilled down to fast-paced action. And I'm all about going fast-paced, so... Makes me wonder if I'll ever do an RPG of any sort. Well, maybe sometime, but, you know, uh... 
let, 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 let's not get ahead of ourselves here just yet. So, I think they're starting to catch up to me a little. I believe 54 is... No, 52. Okay, I, I have more than twice their points so far, and holy jeez. Maybe I should have picked level 3 after all. Huh, maybe we'll do that for a later game. Eh, I think uh, this is an adequate enough demonstration of the procedure. Oh, immediate seal! Bam. Alright, well, since I'm really far ahead, I'll see if this will work. Nope! You can actually pull off three point shots, which means jumps that are made from behind the halfway line qualify as three pointers. You'll hear that sailing sound uh, going through the air indicating the ball is prepped for a three point shot. But it is quite hard to land. It's a little bit of a matter of luck, and I have blown it three times in a row. So, uh, I'm not going to try that again for a while. Maybe later. Although you get a very nice explosive crowd reaction if you do manage to hit it. But I'm trying to think of what else I can demonstrate with this game. Uh... Like I said, uh... The uh, foul and free throws, but, uh, I don't know how to invoke those. So far I can tell they are just random chance. Immediate steal, back up we go. This may not be quite as beloved as everyone's uh, favorite uh, arcade basketball game, NBA Jam, but Double Dribble certainly has its charms. It has the classic faceless Konami characters of their 80s run. Like, <laughs> what's up with like, like, all their human characters are faceless, as, uh, as uh, I demonstrated back with Contra, although I didn't exactly point it out, but, you know, it was just something they did. Um, which makes me wonder if someone would ever, like, seriously draw, like, realistic versions of 8-bit Konami characters without the face detail, and they'd all just look like the blank from Dick Tracy. Like, could someone do that? <laughs> that would be awesome and scary if someone could actually make that work. Now, these guys are playing a real game of confusion here, and we managed to get the ball back somehow, so <clears throat> on you. Oops, I did not mean to fire, I meant to pass it. Oh, got stolen back. And dread. Well, that was a nice struggle, but we are 40 points ahead, so why should it... Oh, what? You idiot! You fool! Standing right outside the edge. Uh, keep a close eye on your teammates. Occasionally, they may wander off the sides, and you obviously do not want to pass it to someone who is standing off, so... Immediate reseal, and here we go for the rebound. Man, I'm just slaughtering the competition here. Huh. I would almost uh, want to, like, pretend this video never happened and bump it up to level 3, but uh, I do that and I'm probably going to get slaughtered, so... Hard to say, hard to say. Alright, bounce off. Oops, that was stupid. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, another thing, uh, if you are... This, this is an obvious rule, but... If you have the ball as the result of a foul, if uh, you, the person off the court who's holding the ball, if they hold on for it too long, then uh, it, the possession goes to the other team. Potentially, maybe you could just keep carrying the ball back and forth between the other teams if you just wait and do nothing like that. Which would be pretty funny, but nope. I don't feel like waiting around that long. And we're not even at the halfway mark yet. But we're getting close! That was a fail. Back we go. That's the uh, classic uh, sports tune charge there, I believe. No idea where that originated from, but it's a gold standard, I suppose. I always pass it to the far person there, and then there we go. Oh, no, no dice. Bring it back. Ah, uh, fail. That's kind of annoying that dunks can fail. Sometimes they do so like two or three times in a row, and who knows if you're going to get the ball stolen back from that. Delay it. Nope. Oh, hey. Time's running out. Okay. 
Ooh! Last second dunk. Going through. And here we are at the halftime show! Which is actually a nice little tune. And there, uh, our team mascot walks by. A very angry-looking bull devil. And their mascot, uh, a frog who looks like the old-timey Homestar Runner. Except, uh, green instead of black and white. But, uh, yeah, that's a cute little routine, I gotta admit. Off the cheerleaders walk, and back to the game we are already back into the fray. 88-36! to 36. Are the frogs going to catch up? Well, I think the Oxes are, uh, more or less, um, keeping, uh, their lead, uh, unless, you know, they have a sudden bad run in their offense, <coughs> and they keep, uh, whiffing all their long shots, and, uh, their dunks just don't keep going in, but, uh, no, no, you know what, I'm not gonna try the fake sports commentator thing. I'd just be playing to myself, and I don't know the technical terms, but as you can see, two dunks in a row failed. Which is pretty annoying, but we still managed to get one in anyway. Oops. Stolen back. Stolen, stolen, stolen. Okay, this is actually getting a little ridiculous. Up. Do, 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 do. Pow! Getting close to 100 there. Uh, da, da, da. I remember seeing a Harlem Globetrotter show once. It was fun. Uh, I don't remember much from it, but it was fun. Man, how long ago was that? Pretty sure I was still in at least junior high when that happened. Anyway. Oh, looks like we've hit our hundredth point, and they whiffed it, so... You know what? I'm gonna start trying uh, crazier things. A, I want to see if I can land a three-point shot. And B, I want to see if I can get somebody pushed so I can demonstrate what a three throw is like. Free throw. Oh, three points! You hear that? It made a, like a percussive sound that sounds right out of Castlevania. That's that's the crowd going completely nuts though that they actually worked. I definitely would not risk three points uh, very much, you know, just to show off. I think they're more of a bragging rights thing, but I am more than doubling. I am almost tripling the frogs at this point, so... You know what? I, I don't see why I can't just keep going for it. Boom! And that's the second three-pointer of period three. I am getting way too cocky. <sighs> no, I cannot play real basketball, uh... My bill just isn't suited for it, I'm just of, uh... Average height, and, uh... Way above average weight, I'm afraid, so... Well, it is what it is. Passing back, and... Uh, Alright, nothing going on. Here, I'm gonna try and... Keep passing to everybody and see if I can't get a push to happen. Actually, wait, something else I can demonstrate. Here's traveling. Jump, but you don't shoot. That's bad form. And, oh, they're punishing my mistakes there. Alright, maybe I better not get too cocky. They could catch up, theoretically. Oh, well, that one missed, and... Huh, my control screwed out there for a bit. I wasn't really in control of that guy. Weird. Obviously, the person who's flashing is the one you're in charge of. But, uh... Let me see. And I'm gonna help the team catch up a bit and see if I can't invoke a push to happen. Uh... This plan might be a bad idea, but, uh, you know, we'll, 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 we'll play it by ear. Shoot. Oh, I didn't even pick it up there. Alright, well, uh, my Sterling uh, performance before halftime is going to help me for my uh, almost trollishly bad ladder half play. Yeah, if I don't watch out, they could catch up and... Oh, whoa, whoa, that was sudden. That seems more like something I'd do there. 
Oh, and that was stupid. Uh, okay, I'm starting to feel a little less secure about this. It's possible that they could catch up if I slack off too much. So... Oh, wow. Was the CPU just seeming weak? So oh, oh. Oh, dear God. How did that happen? Alright, well, the frogs are taking their revenge. I'm not totally sure I'll be able to win this now, but, you know, we're going to give it a shot anyway. Uh, alright. No more screwing around. If pushes don't happen, then it is what it is. Uh, but no, I can't get over to Quartz now. I am not doing this on purpose. The enemy's just being a real jerk. Uh, alright. We gotta get serious here, I suppose. Although we are still, uh, basically doubling them. But, uh, I... no, that little, uh, sudden stroke of fury there was actually a little frightening. But, uh, you know, we're still the leaders, and thus we intend to remain. So... So yeah. Alright, good. Also good. Not good. Hmm. Let's see if I can still get a push to happen here. Do I have to press the B button to invoke that? I don't know. Oh. Darn it. Oh, yeah, time's running out here. Let's... Oh, stupid. Timer scam! Timer scam! Alright, you didn't get to fire it. Alrighty, uh, last period, the frogs made an impressive catch-up attempt, but who knows if it'll be enough? It could be if they manage to keep the same amount of aggression and ball-stealing uh, cunning that they showed in uh, period three. I'm not going to say it's necessarily anybody's game, but the results might not be what anybody expects if the Oxes really let their defenses plummet. Oh, and a ball steal! But it's not going to be enough for the Oxes. Oh, the ball's just going everywhere, all on the one up side of the court. Uh, why am I trying to fake an accident of some sort? Okay, let's not do that. Uh, okay. I guess you could say that they're playing a really mean game of hardball. Uh, oh. Boom. Mm-hmm. That's what you get. Three-pointer! Ah, no. Way too high. Of course, uh, maybe I can pull out a timer scam and just keep making long shots all the time. And who knows, maybe one of them will hit. Alright, no dice. Oops. Alright, once again, I'm trying to demonstrate to see if I can get free, free throws to happen. <clears throat> uh, still pronouncing TH is F and vice versa. This is a problem that I had as a kid that I actually had to take speech therapy for. I was doing well with it for a while, but uh, that little uh, idiosyncrasy seems to have uh, regressed lately, so... Um, it's just the way my stupid mouth works sometimes. Uh, I want to say it can be helped, but uh, I just need to keep mindful of that, because it's not good form. Or I guess you could say, you know, it's just me. Three throws. Although, uh, that almost sounds indistinguishable to my ear, but... They gotta have a pair of headphones on, so... Of course they do, I have a... I have a USB headset, so... It is what it is. Anyway, I'm starting to run out of meaningful babble, and I still have not gotten a... free throw to occur, so I'm not sure if I should just try and stay the course, or if, uh, you know... I should see if I can make it happen. Like, the only way I can uh, get free throws to happen is just, like, really passing the ball around a lot, seeing what sticks. But, uh, you know, I make no guarantees that I can actually get to pull this off. Haha, mm. uh -huh. salt back. Oops! Oh, you louse. Uh, you. Jason G. Ha! There we go! I accidentally pushed the dude down, and this gets to make uh, uh, two free throws. 
Unfortunately, the CPU is a cheater, and I think they always land their shots. Oh, no! Just to prove me wrong, uh, he whiffed that second one. But yeah, this little hoop bobs up and down on the, the uh, on the net, and uh, if it lands on the net as you fire, then you get the point. If not, then it bounces off. It counts more to hit the second one than the first, because if you hit the second one, a uh, ball remains in your possession. If not, it bounces all off off the net, and then anything goes. But, uh, yeah, we got to demonstrate that at least, so... There are three and a half minutes left in this period, although, um... I don't think those minutes run in super real time. I want to say that the, uh, seconds are running slightly shorter than normal. It's so like, uh, ten hour... a, a ten minute game... Uh, may be running instead for, uh... Oh, no, wait. No, it's 10 minutes per period that it runs, so 40 minutes in all. How much time that actually takes, though, calculated for in-game time, I am not sure. But uh, it feels like I got enough out of it, and uh, the frogs are starting to come back with furious anger, so... All I just have to do now is survive. In fact, I'm going to see if I can demonstrate uh, the timer scam here. Let's see what happens if I hold onto the ball without passing it. Do, 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 do. Ah, 10 second violation. You hold on to it for 10 seconds without passing, and that is against you. Those idiots pass it out of bounds, so back it goes. And, uh, I think I've shown off all I could. I think if you stay in possession of the ball for 20 seconds without trying to shoot it to the net, then that's also a violation, but that might be a little hard to manage. So, uh... Hey, how are we going to spend this last minute? Um... <clears throat> oh, shoot, I can't hit that high note. Alright, uh, whistling Sweet Georgia Brown is not an option, I'm afraid. My voice is a little exhausted because I'm actually doing this immediately after my Vegas Dream recording. Because, uh, that one went longer than I intended, so this is a much shorter game in comparison. To prove that, yes, I can try and keep it short if possible. But of course it helps that uh, the games themselves only last so long. And... Oh, we don't get to make a climactic final jump there, I'm afraid. But the final score is 136 to 99, and the Moxen are the victor. Is it Oxes or Oxen? I forget what they actually officially called them. But uh, there we go, we win the silver for beating it at level 2. A winner is you, you win the totally not Oscar there. And that was a decent play, but I'm thinking I could have potentially bumped it up to level 3. Well, maybe I'll come back to this and give it a level 3 shot, but I feel pretty happy actually how that went. Uh, a little nostalgia trigger, this is like uh, one of the few sports games I had for the NES even growing up, and it's still very fun to play nowadays. It's just very fast-paced, you know, it doesn't pull a lot of uh, extraneous rules on you, it keeps the points and the fouls all very simple, and uh, it's a basketball game that anyone could get into, even if they're not much of a basketball fan. Also, I consider this game more or less the spiritual prequel to Konami's incredibly famed hockey NES game, Blades of Steel, which I also love, and I intend to cover that one in the future, too. But for now, uh, this has been Double Driggle... Driggle? Oh, jeez. My throat is really screwing out, so uh, I better cut this now. I am Mike the Ludomaniac. Thank you for joining in for this... Uh, Sportacular episode of Ludomania, and I hope I can keep them all this short, uh, at least for games that don't last too long, but, uh, you know, we'll see what to do. Uh, my very first video, though, was a Mega Man in two parts, and for games that last nearly an hour, I can split those into two parts. Those that last for 90 minutes, I can split those into three. Um... I don't want to keep my videos too long or too short, that's just basically the aim I have here. But, uh, maybe I should make a separate video to explain my game plan instead of tacking this on to the end of my game runs. Uh, anyway, my voice is crapping out, so mic out, uh, thank you very much, and, uh, keep on slamming it. Ah, that was awful. <laughs> He'll have to do, I'm sorry.